everyone. Today we're going to be talking about figs once again. And what you guys are looking at right now is a container, one of two or three containers I have of mulch. And this is mulch that has been taken off of my container figs. Um, you can see on the patio here, they're all in containers. We took the mulch, the top layer, as much soil, mulch, fertilizer, all the amendments that have been adding over the years, we took all that essentially off of the top of these pots and put them into these containers. And we did that in the spring. And why did we do that? We did that for a very obvious reason. It's just essentially to warm up the soil in the spring as quickly as possible. Now that's really important here for somebody in my climate. We talked a lot about this in the springtime and you can see with my in-ground figs, it's a bit of a different story, right? We have bare soil here, which is probably a no-no, but if they're near the figs, we need to have either rocks or we need to have bare soil because our soil is so heavy. These figs don't need a whole lot of water and we want to warm up the soil. That's key number one here in my climate. Now, if you lived in a warm climate, it could be the total opposite, right? You guys maybe want to try to conserve moisture and trying to have less heat. Uh, but certainly for these potted figs, I think it's a good practice in the earlier portions of the season to come in here and take off all that mulch. But I got lazy this year, guys. I did. I didn't, I didn't add the mulch back on. And I think without a doubt, Regardless of what I want to tell you guys in this video, you can see how uneven this is and there's a lot of exposed roots. Uh, but regardless of what I want to tell you guys in this video, is that we need to add the mulch back on. Especially for storage, when all that's about to happen. Um, I think it's, it's very critical when these trees go into storage that they have as much moisture as possible in the soil. And the mulch is going to help conserve that moisture throughout the winter time. But right now it's really warm, right? We've been, we're in August now. It's been consistently in the 90s, man. I mean, it's been really hot. I'm sweating just talking to you guys right now. Um, so I don't really need to have no mulch on these soil, right? I don't need to have a warmer soil. I actually would probably prefer a slightly cooler soil. But here's the big issue that's been going on this year that I've been noticing is that I've had a lot of figs that have been splitting. And I know it's only August, and you're like, well, Ross, how many figs did you even get so far this year? I've gotten enough to realize that I really messed up somewhere along the, uh, the way this year. And so far, I've only really noticed that there's two big differences, and a lot of us like to blame, oh, well, it's just a bad year, right? Well, if you made differences in your practices from one year to the other, how can you blame the weather? We can't blame the weather. Us as the grower, we are in control. We are not going to blame anything else. You're playing tennis, we're not gonna blame the tennis racket. There's some bugs here on the lens, <laughs> right? If we're playing soccer, we're not gonna blame our shoes. We're not gonna blame something else that's out of our control. We as the grower are going to blame ourselves and our techniques. And without a doubt, my techniques have changed this year. And here's the two main reasons they've changed this year. Two main different things I did. One, we removed the mulch in the spring. Two, we also fertilized, I think, a bit heavier in the spring, which resulted in, and also we have larger trees, more mature trees. So because we have more fertilizer, we have larger trees, we have a larger surface area, many more leaves, right? So this means our trees suck up more water, they need more water. That water then evaporates or transpirates, whatever the word is exactly for that process. So that means we need more water just in general. So my watering practices this year have been a lot, my needs have been a lot higher this year, my water needs than last year and in prior years. I would say in prior years, I would needed to water about four ounces of water every day per five gallons of soil. Today and in this, this year, it seems like I'm watering, um, I haven't exactly figured it out, but I've got 3.6 gallon per hour emitters this year. And I've got it, um, I've got it actually off right now, but it goes on for 30 minutes. That's insane. 
So I'm getting, okay, so that's exactly uh, 1.3, or no, 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 1.8 gallons of water. Um, yeah, so I'm getting the 1.8 gallons of water almost every day. Which is insane, that's a huge difference. I mean, these are 15 gallon size pots. So divide that by three, you're looking at, um, you know, roughly 0.6 gallons of water every day per five gallons of soil. That's a lot, that's too much. That's way more than it has been in the past. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. And not only have I had to water uh, more frequently, I've had to water more, and I think it's been adversely affecting the splitting that's been going on, and the quality of my figs, and I've been getting more figs that have been dropping. It's been a lot more difficult to control the, the water content in these soils. It's really been a struggle, and in the past, I've just had no issues with this. I've had really consistent moisture content in my soil. Um, I've also had less figs that have been dropping. Of course, I've had some in the past that have dropped simply because I was trying to conserve as much water as possible. But now I've got figs dropping that aren't Smyrna's. You know, you can make an argument, let's you know, take this tree over here. I have a number of figs on this particular branch or this particular variety that this one's a Smyrna and this one down here is a Smyrna. And you know, I could make that argument with some of these, right? Because we're experimenting. But what about these other varieties that I know for a fact aren't Smyrna's, right? We got like Italian 258 dropping figs this year. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't happen. So certainly something's been going on. I've been ruining for a pretty decent portion of my season. It could have some lasting effects uh, throughout the entire year. So, um, you know, I kind of want to deal with this now and I want to figure out what this issue is now because if I don't, again, the quality of my figs is going to decrease. And it probably may already have permanently for the rest of my season. So let's talk, I want to talk about this. I want to think about this. And again, the only reason things are different I mean, of course, you could say the weather is slightly different, but those two things I mentioned, right? We removed the mulch in the spring and we fertilized our trees more. And therefore they have larger leaves, more leaves, you know, a bigger surface area. So the answer here I think is obviously the mulch. Having that layer of mulch on top of the soil is wonderful for conserving moisture not just conserving moisture, but having a consistent level of moisture throughout the entirety of the growing season. That is extremely, extremely important. And I think that's all it is. I really do. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to come in here. I have some mulch I have underneath the, uh, the sunroom here that I've taken off of these pots. We're going to add that all back in. Maybe I can add in a few more amendments if I want. Uh, maybe some silica. I think that's really at this point the only thing I really want to add. So we can add some diatomaceous earth, maybe some rice holes, and we're going to just mulch every single one of these pots. We have to do this anyway. We have no other choice. This is just something we have to do. I've been putting it off. I should have done it probably three weeks to a month ago after these figs had already set their fruit. There's no reason why I shouldn't have put the, the mulch on at that point. Conserve that moisture from that point onwards, we will have better quality figs that way. We'll have less dropping. It's really about that even level of moisture. Okay, so you guys, I think you guys get that at this point. The next thing we're gonna do, besides putting on the mulch, is we're gonna put on, and this is all gonna be happening this weekend. I'm doing this, this is all I'm doing this weekend. We're also putting on these trash bags, these really heavy duty black trash bags, and we're gonna cover the top of the soil. The issue I've seen with these trash bags is that when wrapping this around the trunks, you can already see it. See the sitting water? This is going to attract mosquitoes. So we need to figure out some way, whether, you know, whether or not we build up the soil, or it's maybe in the way that we tie this, maybe around a bit higher up the trunk. Whatever it is, we need to make sure that every single one of these pots is not getting any rain and that we are 100% controlling the water that goes into every single one of these pots. 
Otherwise, my season is going to be just completely ruined. I, I think if I don't do these two things right now, I'm going to be pretty upset. So that's what we're doing this weekend, guys. Um, I wanted to just do this video to express, yeah, this is something that I've known in the past, but you know, different things happen. You know, times change. You forget about the important details. You also just lose track of time. There's a lot of things going on. So that's all. I wanted to express this to you guys, show you guys what I'm struggling with here, because not everything goes as perfectly planned with these figs, but. You know, this is the this is the way from now on, um, and we'll see. We're gonna we're gonna definitely be able to notice hopefully a difference because um, I've already noticed a big difference from last year, prior years to this year. I didn't have a single fig split on me, and I wish I had some to show you guys. But last year I didn't have a fig a single fig split until like the beginning of September. It's probably around sometime around September 5th, September 6th, I think it rained pretty hard last year and it was a lot of rain that we got at that time. That just hasn't really happened too much this year. Yeah, we've gotten some rain, but it's not like to the point where this should be happening to this degree where I'm getting lots of figs that are dropping. I'm getting figs that are splitting. I'm getting figs that are not really ripening properly because this, the soil is either too dry or it's too wet. And it's just, uh, it's just a mess. So hopefully this made a whole lot of sense to you guys. And hopefully you can follow along because this is honestly, I don't know. You know, I don't know too many people who are going to get stuck in the weeds as much as I have on this particular topic, but um, without a doubt, I've said it in the past and I'll say it again, that mulch is extremely, extremely important for our fig trees. So get it on there guys, we'll talk to you soon and I'll see you for tomorrow's video. Take care everyone.